Let's try it. <laughs> Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton, I'm your humble narrator, and welcome to Toby, the Secret Mine. A puzzle platformer. Looks kind of like Limbo, but uh, it does change some things around, which I think is pretty nice. This little uh, horned dude is Toby. These bigger bastards have stolen his friends, and uh, it's, it's his job to get him back with all his puzzling platforming action. Okay, I understand. I gotta get this down, and then push the box over there. And then put that up. Now I can get on top of that thing right there. Hi, kitty. Hi, kitty. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Did it come back down here? Please don't come back down here. It looks like there's a secret exit up there. Let's try it. Yes, dude. Oh, my God. Can I push this? Can I, can I buttons? Can you not jump on any of them except for that one? I'm scared to fucking experiment now. Wow, dude. Am I jumping into the spikes? That's pretty bullshit. Can't jump on any of them except for the one where the top is missing. That's if you happen to notice that the top is missing. Because there's no like little spiky things. It ascends slightly further. I guess it's a fair choice, but I don't know. I'm gonna have to call bullshit on that one. And I can't even pull this fucking lever. Alright friends, so here's my score breakdown for Toby and the Secret Mine. The controls I've given an 8 out of 10. They are definitely fluid with nice controller support, but I knocked a couple points off because they are a little bit slow for my tastes. Uh, the fun factor I've given a 7 out of 10. It is definitely gratifying when you complete the level, but during the completion can be extremely frustrating if you can't find the right solution. Difficulty I've given a 10 out of 10. Definitely cranked up in the later levels. Uh, I probably spent 20 minutes on the last level alone. Really, really difficult game. Definitely worth a try if you're looking to uh, grit your teeth down to little nubs. <laughs> Replayability, I've given a 5 out of 10. It's um, a game that offers a lot of atmosphere. There are a lot of friends to find. I don't think there are any rewards for finding all of the friends, apart from maybe a different ending, but that's not enough for me to go through the trouble. Perhaps for some people it is. Uh, I might pick it up a little later and re-experience the atmosphere. But overall, the replayability is average, in my opinion. Innovation, I've given a 4 out of 10. The style is largely copied from things such as Limbo, but it does offer its own little unique twists, so... A little bit below the average on the innovation as well. But controls, fun factor, difficulty, all above the average, uh, which leads to a pretty strong gameplay score. On the aesthetic side, we have the graphics, which are an 8 out of 10. The graphics are just so delicious. I love the, the work in the foreground and the background and just all the objects moving. Uh, it, it, it offers the really great atmosphere that I was talking about. The music is a 7 out of 10. It's definitely off-putting. There's a lot of synth pads and uh, sounds I haven't heard before, but amongst that is like some nice real-world sounds, which makes you feel kind of connected to this strange alien planet that you're wandering about. I think it's a really cool uh, dichotomy, and I've given the music a 7 out of 10. Sound effects, 7 out of 10 as well. I think the sound work is pretty great. You're pushing long boxes, things like that. Things coming up out of the ground feels like a really deep sound, you know, as it should. Um, however, things like Toby uh, shrugging and going, I don't know what to do here when you insist you want him to do something gets slightly repetitive, so I did knock a few points off for that. The story uh, is a 4 out of 10. It is below average. It does not offer any character development to speak of. There's no arc to the story, really. You just kind of go get your friends. So while it's super bare bones, I think the friendship is magic. <laughs> and I did uh, 
feel compelled to play through the story, if only to see if there was any more story to be had. So, uh, below the average, but still worth a play in my opinion. Level design, I've given this 10 out of 10. Definitely one of the strongest aspects aside from the difficulty. The levels are so, so well designed. There's so many areas to explore within the levels. There's just little switches and things like that, even if you find them before you're supposed to. <laughs> um, I had a great time with Toby and the Secret Mine. The final score is a 70 out of 100. That is a 3.5 out of 5 stars, which is above the average. So well done. Definitely an awesome game. Worth a look if you think you would enjoy. This has been another Dayton Dissects on Toby and the Secret Mine. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. I hope you'll like, comment, and or subscribe, and join us for the next time, friends. And until then, bye-bye! One, two, three, four, goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.